Elizabeth. So I'm recording this for you, just for you. You pretend like you're right here with me um, as we start a yoga practice. And this one, maybe, I don't know, 40 minutes or so, just to, just to settle in. And, uh, and then I'll record some others, but it's just when we have a little bit of time. So let's start by grounding in. It's so great that we've both got on our mats here. Just go ahead and close your eyes and rest your palms on your thighs, just on your knees. Feel your sits bones ground into the earth, connecting to that amazing energy. And just come into the here and now. And if we're doing anything else with your eyes closed, just notice your breath. Inhale and exhale. Continuing to breathe. And just notice how you feel. Notice this internal sense of self. And just, just make note of it. Make note of your heart rate, any thoughts in your head. Just continue to breathe. So go ahead and just keep your eyes closed for now. Reach your arms up, clasp your palms, invert your hands, and just really press up. Feeling that long spine. Inhale here and over to the right. Feeling into that left side body, the left hip pressing down into the mat. Coming back through center and over to the other side. Good, feeling into that right side body. Just breathing. Good, coming back, lift your arms to the sky, open your eyes and bring your hooves down to foot center. And let's start our practice with one deep. Inhaling. Oh. Thumb knuckles to the third eye center. And just ground in here and just set an intention. Whatever that may be today. Whatever you would like to bring more into your life. Or into your body. Or into your time on the mat. Maybe it's to release some tension, stretch out the body. Maybe it's to send a little extra love and care to those in your life who may need it. Inhale here, reach your arms up, and bring your hands back down. Good, let's reach up again. This time, I'm gonna invert here, so clasp the right hand so that you can follow along with the left arm, and over to the left. Breathing in and out, pressing that right hip down into the mat, and coming back over, switching hands, grabbing the left wrist with the right hand, and over to the right, and breathe in. Good, back to center. Now take that right hand, reach that left arm back, pin this right hip, and breathe. Drop the shoulders. Looking out over that left hand and breathe. Getting into the upper back, stretching it out, taking that left arm over and rounding and rounding chin to chest. Really hold in here. Good. And lift the heart. And exhale round and lift and round down. And lift and go ahead and eagle those arms. So press those forearms forward, lift those elbows, lifting up and rounding back in. Good. Lifting up and rounding back in. And lifting up and rounding back in. Lifting those arms up to the sky, reaching the left arm down. 
really bend that left elbow and just reach and look up and look down and look up and look down. Coming back over to the other side, caressing that right hand into the mat, reaching that left arm over, nice bend in that elbow, look up and look down and look up and look down. Reaching back up. Good. Now take that left hand on the right knee, reach that right arm back, but pin this left hip and breathe. Drop the shoulders. Look out over that right arm. Put the thumb to the sky and breathe. In and out. In and out. Now reach that arm over and round the spine, chin to chest, really breathe in here under those shoulder blades. And lift. And round. Lift. And round. And lift. And rounding one more time, raising those arms up and bringing the hands back down and coming over onto all fours. Good. Shoulders over wrists, knees under hips, and lift the heart. Good, and round the spine, chin to chest, really reach in there into cat pose, and in, opening the chest, and exhale. Now coming into a nice long flat back, raise that right arm forward, left leg back, press the toe mound into the mat and rock. Forward and back. Getting into the Achilles, the calf. Go ahead and lift that left leg straight out. Inhale, reach long, exhale, round. Reaching long and round. Reaching long, go ahead and grab that left foot. You can come into a nice stretch here, really stretching out the chest, breathing in and out. Reaching arms long, lowering that right hand, lowering that left foot, reaching that left arm up and breathe. Really getting into this area of the body. Go ahead and lift that left leg, reaching that left arm over and breathe. Awesome, go ahead and grab that foot again. This time really pull the heel towards the bum and you're gonna feel that into that quad. Awesome, reaching out long again, lowering the arm, lowering the knee and just shift those hips from right. This time, reach that left arm out long, pressing that right foot into the mat and rock. In and out. Go ahead and lift that right leg out long and straight. Inhale, reach long, long line of energy. Exhale, knee to elbow. And reach and knee to elbow. And reach and knee to elbow. And reaching out long, take that left hand, grab that right foot, open the heart here, and breathe. In and out. Breathing in. One more opening the chest. Reaching out long again. Lower that left hand. Lower that right foot. Reach that right arm up to the sky. Again, feeling right in to the right side body. Good, in and out, reach that right arm over the ear. Go ahead and lift that right leg, if that feels good, no need to. You can reach around and grab that right foot. Really kick that heel to the bum. Really feeling into the quads here and breathe. In and out. Awesome. Reaching 
in that long hand. Lower the right hand, lower the right knee, shift those hips. And right to left. Awesome. Now reach those hands out just a little bit further in front. You're going to curl your toes and you're going to slowly come up into that first downward dog. Just go ahead and feel into your body. Bending one knee and bending the other. Go ahead and move in the way that feels good to you. Go ahead and wrap those shoulders around, lifting those hips up high to the sky and breathing. Bringing both feet, heels pressing down, hips to the sky. Shake the head no, shake the head yes, and breathe. In and out. In those big toes together, raise that right leg out. First straight square hips, drop that right hip so you really feel this nice three-legged dog square hips. You're going to feel this in your outer left hip. Go ahead now and open and bend the knee and breathe. Try and keep the shoulders parallel to the mat. Roll your ankle one way, roll your ankle the other way. Good. Reaching out long again. Again, drop that right hip. If you could balance the teacup on your back and lower the head. Good. Reach the left leg out long. Again, lower that left hip. Square hips, the way you can tell they're square is if you really feel this in your outright or hip. Right thigh. Good. Now open the hip and bend the knee. Squaring the shoulders to the mat. Roll your ankle one way and roll your ankle the other way. Good. And go ahead and lower that foot down. Separate your feet again, shoulder width apart, and come into a high plank. And inhale here and exhale back. And inhale forward and exhale back. One more time, inhale forward, we're going to lower thigh, four, three, two, one, press the forehead, press the tops of the feet, reach the arms back like airplane wings, press down and lift the heart, good, now go ahead and lift the hands and the feet, and breathe, awesome, coming back down, coming up to all fours, Curling the toes under and coming back into your downward dog. Reach that right leg long again. Inhale here. Exhale round the spine, knee to nose. And bring that foot forward into a runner's lunge. Drop the left knee. You can go ahead and pat it if that feels good. And come up high. Good. Now hook those thumbs. Really stretch those shoulders apart and come forward here. You're going to get into that right hip flexor, bending in here, breathing in and out, and in and out. Now lower those hands. We're just going to reach back, flexing that right foot and feeling in here. Gently, you want to keep a micro bend in that knee. We're just beginning to warm up and get into the hamstrings and breathe. Coming back forward this time, bringing the hands back down and lifting the leg, coming into a strong runner's lunge. Inhale your heart, exhale, straighten that leg and bend down. And inhale, lift again, press the cow pose, and exhale, round. Inhale, lift, press that left hand down to the mat, and pull forward. Hugging that right hip into the midline as you breathe, straightening that left leg, continuing to breathe. lowering that right hand down and coming back to your center. 
Inhaling in your plank, we're gonna lower all the way to the ground. This time, thumb knuckles by the lower ribs. Press the elbows together, press the hands down on the mat and lift. And breathe. Go ahead and take your hands and let them just sort of graze the mat, pinning those shoulders in. Good, lower back down through all fours and downward facing dog and just breathe. Five breaths here, in and out. You can go ahead and close your eyes and really feel in, pinning those shoulders in, lifting those hips to the sky. Lift that left leg out straight behind you. Knee to nose, round the spine. Bring that left foot forward. Feel here into your runner's lunge. Drop the knee again. Add the knee if you'd like. And raise those arms up. Go ahead and hook the thumbs the other way. And lean forward. So this gets into the right hip flexor, but it also bends in and strengthens the left thigh and breathe. Lower the hands, straighten that left leg. Go ahead and flex that left foot and just feel. Nice micro bend, just getting into those hamstrings. And breathe. Awesome, come forward. Back the mat, come into your runner's lunge. Inhale your heart and exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale forward and exhale, straighten your legs. Inhale forward, exhale, straighten your legs. This time, inhale forward, press that right hand into the mat and lift that left leg and breathe. Pinning that left hip into the midline as you continue to breathe. And breathe in and out. Good. Lowering that left hand down, coming into your plank. This time we're going to come down halfway into Chaturanga and our first. Upward facing dog and feel in here. So press the tops of those feet, lift the heart through the arms and breathe in. Look to the right, hips shift to the left, back through center, look to the left. One more time to the right and to the left. Coming back, this time into a wide knees, child's pose. Reach your arms out long, press your forehead to the mat. Really push those hips back to the heels. Reaching those arms out long in front of you like with a claw, lifting the arms, a really active movement and breathe. Go ahead and press those palms together, reaching those arms. The thumb goes behind the neck, pulling back on the forearms. Another triceps. Isometric movement, you're not really going to move it, but you're going to just drag there and drop in. Let that chest sink down to the mat. And breathe. back up into your downward dog and breathe high on the toes and drop the heels high on the toes and drop the heels this time just walk all the way to the top of your mat bend your knees a lot and come into rag doll so you're going to grab elbow to elbow and just drop in Breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Mm -hmm. 
go ahead and shift to one side and breathe and shift to the other side and breathe. Go ahead and drop those hands and this time take the hands on the outside of the right foot, pin that left hip back and forward. And you can sort of sway side to side. What you're gonna wanna do is get into that left IT band and breathe. Coming back around to center, take the hands on the outside of the left foot, pin that right hip back, drop the head and breathe. Coming back to center, go ahead and bend those knees, press the hands into the shins and lift out a nice straight spine. Inhale here and exhale forward. Good, press those hands into the shins. Inhale, long spine and exhale, fold. Good, one more time, hands into the shins, reach out long and go ahead and lift all the way up, bringing hands into heart center. Awesome. Now let's just feel it. Feel the feet, hands down by your side, really drop those shoulders, close the eyes, mountain pose, and just feel. Feel where your body is now. Where is your heart? Where is your mind? Good, we'll do some sun salutation. So reach your arms up high. Exhale, swan dive down. Coming into a long spine. Stepping back to plank. Inhale here on plank. Exhale, chaturanga. The upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. And breathe. In and out. Go ahead and bend the knees. Step or hop to the top of the mat, reaching long spine, exhale, fold, root to rise up, hands to heart center. Good, and again, inhale up, exhale, fold, long spine. See if you can take the opposite foot back than you normally do, you may have to think about that. Inhale here, exhale, drop, upward dog, and downward facing dog. And pedal it out. Good. In ha, and out. Coming into stillness and stepping forward. Long spine. Exhale, fold, root to rise. Hands to heart center. Good. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Coming into your long spine. Stepping back to plank. Inhaling on plank. Exhale down. Upward dog. And downward dog. Three breaths in and out. And exhale. Good, reach your right leg long behind you, come forward, find your runner's lunge, feel your balance, make sure that your feet are railroad apart, not, not stacked one in front of the other, and lift up into crescent warrior. Bend that left knee, you're gonna straighten and drop down the tailbone, and straighten the left leg, and breathe. Good, now, Left arm forward, right arm back, and back to center. Left arm forward, right arm back, and back to center. Left arm forward, right arm back. Stay here, hands to the heart, and prayer twist. Really pressing those thumb knuckles into the chest and twisting. And breathing in and out. Go ahead and open the arms like wings and breathe. Good, now we're gonna spin up into warrior two, okay? So knee over ankle, 
pressing this left leg straight, it's gonna look opposite to you and breathe. In and out, so your right leg is forward, even though it doesn't look like that. Looking out over that right middle finger, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Really feel in here. Again, our side bodies don't get a lot of love and stretch and attention. Good, and we're gonna cartwheel all the way back down. The plank. Chaturanga to upward dog and downward facing dog. Remembering, remembering that you can go back to downward dog at any time. Good, lift that left leg straight behind you, knee to nose and come forward. Raise those fingers, make sure you have enough space between the feet and lift up. And go ahead and bend that right knee, dropping your tailbone and go ahead and straighten. And breathing in here, drop those shoulders. Good, right arm forward, left arm back and center. And right arm forward and left arm back. Woo! And center. And right arm forward and left arm back. Go ahead and bring your hands into your heart and come into your twist. And breathe. Again, in and out. You can open your arms like wings if you want, or just stay in prayer twist and breathe. Good, now we're gonna come back around into warrior two, and I'm gonna have my back to you. So hopefully you can hear me. Bending that knee over the ankle, reaching the arms out long, looking out over that middle finger and breathing. Good, finding a point of drishti, maybe straight out in front of you, looking out over that middle finger. You can also look straight ahead. If you just want to find good stillness, go ahead and flip that left palm and reverse. Good. In and out. We're going to cartwheel all the way down. This time go back to downward dog. Feel into your downward dog. And then if you want, come forward into your plank. Chaturanga upward facing dog and downward facing dog and breathe. In and out. Go ahead and breathe in. Let's do a lion's breath. Inhale. Good. Just let it out. Go ahead and stop, step to the top of your mat. Long spine and fold. Coming all the way up and hands to heart center. Good. That's right. So we're going to bring our big toes together and we're going to reach up. Arms as high, bracing the ears, lowering those hips down, looking down, lifting all 10 toes and just gently placing them on the mat and breathe. Good. In and out. Letting it burn this first time. This is a very annoying pose. Can you just stay with it? Breath to breath. Good, and fold. Reaching long up, can you come back to here? Reaching long up, go ahead and fold, stepping back to plank. If you want, inhale, exhale, lifting up and back. Good, now this time coming into warrior one, so we're gonna be straight ahead, plant that foot at 45 degrees, coming up, in a lunge, now lift up. It's oftentimes helpful to put your hands on your hips, bring that left hip forward, right hip back, bending in and raising arms up. And just drop in. And breathing. Now go ahead and clasp your hands behind your back the awkward way, the way that doesn't feel natural. Lift your heart and fold over. And breathe. In and out. Breathing in and 
big and long. Good. Now come down. Put your hands on the inside. It's going to come into lizard here. Put your hands on the inside of that right foot. Take that right foot out to two o'clock and come on the heel. I mean, come on the side of the foot. Go ahead and drop that knee. We're really getting into that hip here. You can wiggle around a little bit. You can stay up. You can come down on forearms. But the thing you want to do here is you really want to focus in on that right hip and breathe into it. Breathe into that hip. Feeling your body settle in, feeling your muscles let go just a little bit, just like we want to let go of things that no longer serve us on the mat or in our life. And breathe. Now curl those toes under, come up on your hands and just lift that left leg, pressing under. Good, drop that knee, left knee again. Now take the right hand and just gently, ever so gently, press into that right thigh and look over your right shoulder. If you want, you can lift that left leg and flex that heel. And if you want, go ahead and grab either pressing the ankle into the hand or bringing that heel in. You know, go ahead and wiggle around and just feel. In and out. In and out. Go ahead and lower that. Now we're going to come in. We're going to do a little plank, forearm plank here in between. Go ahead and curl those toes under. Coming into the straight back, pressing those forearms in and breathe. In and out. Go ahead and tap with the right knee, tap with the left, tap with the right, tap with the left, tap with the right, tap with the left. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the hips. Coming into Sphinx pose. So the elbows are going to be a little bit further forward. Press those hands and lift that head. And breathe. Go ahead and press those arms straight, just if you want to. Good. Lowering back down. Pressing up to all fours. Curling the toes and coming into downward dog. And breathe. Press those hips up. Right down in the knees. Feeling the shoulders and just notice. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. That's all you're feeling at this point in the practice. Good. Plant the right foot 45 degrees. Come up on the left. Bringing the arms up and then put your hands on your hips. So you can bring your right hip forward, left hip back, and just, just feel in here and raise those arms and breathe. Drop the shoulders. In and out. Breath and movement. Go ahead and clasp those hands up behind the back. Reach the arms back and fold. And breathe. In and out. Feeling into that left hip. Try and bring it into the midline. Now go ahead, coming into lizard on the left. Left foot goes out to eight, 10 o'clock, coming on the outside, dropping that right knee, coming down on forearms or staying up. But you really want to, you really want to get into this hip. Wiggle it around a little, little bit and breathe. your hands, curl that right toe under, and just a little bit different, just a little more strength, continuing to fold over onto that left side of the foot, 
coming back down. Now go ahead and flatten that knee, flatten the foot, take that left hand in the right and just give it a little loving. Turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Again, if you want, go ahead and bend, getting into the right quad, bend that right foot. You can go ahead and grab. Again, you can press that right ankle into the hand or you can bring it in. Wiggle around a little bit. Most important thing is to breathe energy into the point of sensation. Great, lower back down. Coming into a child's pose, just resetting. Hands out straight in front of you, or you can clasp those hands and bring them back, whatever feels good to you. And breathe. Reaching the arms out long, coming into your downward dog. And walking your hands all the way back. Big toes together, arms up, Uttanasana. Hands to the heart. We're going to twist over to the right. Feel your hand on your back here to feel like you're, you've got a, a flat back here on the lower back. You can balance the block. You can balance a cup of tea. Hands into the heart center and breathe. You can go ahead and spread the arms like wings. Good. Now just fold over, separate those feet. We're gonna grab those big toes. We're gonna press the big toes into the fingers. Lift the fingers up, long spine and fold. Elbows come out to the side, bend the knees as much as you want and breathe. Nice symmetrically, big toes press into the fingers, fingers lift up and breathe. Good, release that. Toes together, heels apart, and coming to Uttanasana. Hands to heart center. We're going to twist over to the left, feeling a flat back here, and breathe. And twist, and breathe. Open the arms like wings. Good, and fold over. Coming into gorilla, separate the feet. Go ahead and take these palms under the feet. See if those toes can reach up to the wrists. Go ahead and bend your knees as much as possible or as much as you need to. And inhale and lift. And then fold over to come back down. You want to stay in this long enough for those muscles to release. So, Uttanasana one more time, this time eagle, right arm under left, right leg over, and breathe. Find a point of focus, if you fall out, just come back in. Good, lower those arms down. Coming in to airplane with eagle arms, nice long straight spine, Oops, you come out, you come right back in. Go ahead and airplane the arms. Woo! Fall out of a balance, you just come back in. Go ahead and lift that right knee up, arms above. Reach that right leg out, three little pulses. One, two, three. Step forward. We're going to come right into dancer. Take that left arm back. Grab that left heel ankle, foot, and reach forward. Thinking about a little upward dog here and breathe. Slight bend in the knee. Can you help? Coming out of that, bring that left knee up. Straighten the leg, three little pulses. One, two, three, and tree. Bringing that right foot into the left thigh hands to the heart and just drop it. And go ahead and open the arms, sway like a tree, just like the trees out here, and the breeze. 
inhale, we bring it up, hand to the heart. Lower that foot again, heel into mountain. Feel the feet, arms by your side. Close the eyes. Raising the arms up, exhale, fold. Long spine, stepping back to plank or down your dog, chaturanga, step up and downward facing dog. And breathe. Walk those hands back, big toes together, coming into Utkatana, eagle on the left. Left arm under, left leg over, and drop that foot and breathe. Coming down, elbows to knees, feet in here, eagle's nest. Go ahead and open out the airplane. Eagle arms, you can bring those arms back. Nice long spine. Keep that neck long. I always tend to lift it up too much. Slight bend in the knees. Coming forward, arms up, left leg out, three little pulses, one, two, three. Stepping forward, reaching that right arm back, and coming forward, and Good. Coming up. Right leg out, three little pulses, one, two, three, stepping forward into child. Left foot into the right thigh or right calf, hands to the heart, and drop the foot. Bring the arms up, swaying in three, that feels good. Dropping the shoulders, lifting the neck, hands to the heart, and all the way back to the feet. Inhale up, exhale fold. Long spine, stepping back to plank again, only if you want to. Up and down. Good. Raise that right leg. Coming into warrior two. Good. Feeling into your warrior two here. Drop those shoulders, arms out long. Go ahead and reverse. Feeling in here again. Straighten that right leg and coming over into child. Hand can go on the calf if you have a block behind you. Slight micro bend in that right knee and breathe. In, good. in, and out, one more in, and out, awesome, coming up, turn that right foot in, take, clasp your hands behind your back, lift your heart, and fold, and breathe. In and out. Good. Now put your hands on the mat and we're just going to do some snake squats coming into the inner thighs and breathe. Good. Coming back to center, bringing those feet in a little bit, pressing the right hand down. I mean, the left hand, the left arm down. Take that right hand on the flat of the back and twist. And then go ahead and lift that right arm and breathe. Go ahead, drop that right hand, left hand on the flat of the back and twist. Lifting that left arm up. Coming back down, bringing the feet together just a little bit. 
hands on the hips and come up. Good, now we're just gonna twist around to warrior two on the other side. Arms out long, peeling in here, flip the palm and reverse. Peeling again into the left side, straighten that left leg and come up. Good, and down in the triangle again on your calf, behind your arm, a block if you have one and breathe. In, down and out. Just like bending that left knee, you can spin that inner thigh to part of the room and breathe. Good, and come up. This time, goddess pose, so you have heels in, toes out. Coming down here now, we're just gonna twist the right shoulder. into goddess. So first we want to have hands at the heart and just pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Lift the right foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Left heel. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the heels. Goddess. Nice strong pose. And ten more pulses. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straighten the legs. Turn the toes in and fold. Go ahead and reach your palms back behind you. Drop the head and breathe. Awesome. A few more snake squats side to side. You're going to turn around and just face the front of the mat, coming back into plank. Last plank, we're going to lower five, four, three, two, one. Turn the head to one side, drop the hands to the side, and just drop it. Feel your whole body on the mat. See if you can melt. Good. Turn your head to the other side. Press the forehead down, clasp the hands behind your back. We're going to reach out long behind, lift the forehead, press those feet into the mat. So you're really getting into the upper thoracic spine. Then go ahead and left the feet. And drop. Make a little pillow with your hands, bend the knees into the length of the leg. Good. Now bow pose, grab one ankle, grab the other, get set. We're going to come up a little bit each time. Inhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. And one more lift. And breathe. Good. And lower down. Reach your wipe of those legs. Coming up on all fours, just crawling through, crossing the legs, and rolling back, hugging those elbow to elbow, drop the head. Now, bring the thighs to the belly, tailbone to the mat as you squeeze in. Now go ahead and lift those legs straight up, flex the feet, hands behind the head. Making like a basket, and we're just going to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to climb, 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 twist, 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 twist. Lower the right leg and twist, 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 switching the legs and twist, 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 twist. 
and hugging your knee as you have your baby. And just some bicycles, knees over hips, calves straight out, hands behind your head, and left knee to right, and center, inhale, exhale. Inhale, center, exhale. Inhale, center, exhale. Now we're just gonna twist for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hug those knees in. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, drop the knees out to the side, a hand on the heart, a hand on the belly. Just melt into the mat. Letting your heart rate slow. Good, coming into bridge. Fingertips raise the heel. You press the hands and lift the hips. Roll those shoulders underneath, looking straight up to the sky and breathing. Now, as you know, I will tell you when you can come down and come up, but I like to stay up as long as possible. So just go ahead and feel into the bridge. Now go ahead and lower down, taking some breath. And when you're ready, lifting back up and breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop down if you'd like. The way it's meant to be, again, for the challenge. Coming back up when you're ready. Last one, you can go ahead and lift up on the toes. Feel the knee here, dropping the heel. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Again. Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. Bringing those knees up, hugging them in. Go ahead and rocking back and forth a few times, coming into bow. Rolling those legs back. And breathing. If you wanna come into shoulder stand, Make sure you're supporting your back and lift those legs up. Good job. Good, lower back down to plow, knees to forehead, roll all the way down, hug in, rock back and forth and come up into downward dog. Now you know what's coming. My favorite pose, pigeon on the right, bringing that right foot forward, left foot back, lifting up with your heart, and pulsing. Great, really dropping into that right hip, breathing in to the sensation, making sure that you can wiggle around a little bit to feel sensation and breathe. Into that sensation. Let 
Okay, so coming back up, feeling in here, coming back into your downward dog, raising that right leg, opening the hip, and dropping down. Just pedal out your downward dog. Do you notice any difference? Okay, if you don't, lift that left leg, coming into pigeon on the left. behind, try not to stick all that right foot, and drop in. Feeling into the hip. And breathe. Breathe into sensation. Feeling around a little, feeling in a little more. Breathe into the sensation and drop in. Let it go. Knowing that we could stay in forever, at least five minutes, sitting back up. Go ahead and swing that right leg around. Want to move the flesh here. Raise your arms up, flex the feet, and fold and drop the hips. Chin to chest. Okay, rolling all the way back down. Hugging that right knee in and supine twist. Right arm out, left, a right knee. Such good work today. Coming back into center, hug that left knee in, twisting over to the right, left leg, left arm out, and breathe. Super Thigh Kanasana one more time, soles of the feet together, hand on the heart, hand on the belly, and Shavasana. Letting those feet flop out to the sides, arms by your side, palms are up to receive all this good energy. Most important pose of the practice, corpse pose, where you can just let everything go. Longer. We just ignore the left side, staying in the Shavasana. And if not, open your hands and or keep those eyes closed. Hug the knees in. Roll over onto your favorite side. Peel that forehead down into the mat. Come back into your intention. Okay, 
Open the eyes closed. Come back up to a seated position, just the way you began the practice. See if you can cross your legs the other way. Rest your hands on your thighs, on your knees. Close those eyes. So just feel the rewards of the practice, of the physical practice that really sets us up to meditate. So if you wanted, you could just stay here for five minutes and following the breath, continuing the practice of the present moment. Now or later, bring your thumb knuckles to your third eye center. Inhale and exhale. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me so wonderful to practice here with you to have this means through zoom to be able to share a practice